I want to zero in on this quote that really struck me from the finale when your parents are having a conversation and they say, you know, we've been here for 30 years and we're still visitors. Mm. To me, that is sort of like almost a thesis of so much of what happens on the show, particularly in the third season. I'm curious how that sort of uh, kind of that saying came to be, and if you sort of agree, if if this idea of these people who call this country home, but still after being here for you know decades upon decade, uh, still sort of feel like visitors, is that kind of the thesis of of what you guys were trying to accomplish here with season three? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I'm I'm so happy that you picked up on that line because I think it was really like um, it was born out of just this really kind of organic train of thought, you know, of like trying to blend in eating hot dogs what does it mean to eat a hot dog and then I just kind of was just writing at like three in the morning and it's like well no but we're, we don't even really belong here you know and and I think that there's this thing of like um you know I think this season thematically is 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 sits under the idea of a crisis of faith in a in a really um literal way like I think Rami is questioning his own faith but I also think there's this crisis of like do we still believe in the American dream? And, and I think that that's something that a lot of families are asking themselves. I think a lot of immigrant families are asking themselves, but I also think just a lot of families in this economic climate and situation are asking themselves because for as much as, you know, this show or this season can be about spirituality, it's also straight up about capitalism too. And it's kind of like, yeah. what is what does it take to get what you dreamed of or to be who you want to be? Um, and so I think this feeling of displacement is so real for, for this, this family, but I also think that displacement is just real for anyone kind of trying to make their way in the system, you know, people watching, you know, themselves struggle to pay rent when they used to be able to like buy a home, you know, and, 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 and I think yeah. that, um, yeah, so that feeling of feeling like you're a visitor is, is very, is, is very literal for a family that might think Egypt is their is is their you know home country, but I think it's also a feeling that um, a lot of people who are kind of like feeling boxed out of, of being able to have just like a a, a life where their needs are met. Um, yeah, you know, is happening. Yeah, for sure. I mean that all that all really comes through. You know, and it's it's so fun. I mean, I know I know you know your friendship, your real life friendship with Bella Hadid is is so cool and special and like just seems to be such an organic thing. It was so fun to see her. She is like such a perfect fit on the show. It like works out so well that you're like, oh, like this is the most obvious thing I've ever seen in my life. How much fun was it to have her on set and how impressed were you with her, with the performance that she gave? I was very impressed. I mean, I think on the show, um, we've had a few, you know, bigger uh, people come in. Obviously, someone like Mahershala Ali came with us last season. And then yeah. um, this season, it's it's a, a different kind of experience of bringing someone into the family with with someone like Bella. But I think the goal for me is always like, if we're going to introduce someone new, like I love our family and I love our, our friends and we really built those up in the first season. So if anyone's going to come in, I just want it to feel like they already were in the world, but we just hadn't gotten to them yet. I don't want it yeah. to feel like it's this, you know, awkward shoe in because we just feel like it or something. And I think with her, it just felt like, oh, yeah, of course. Like, like, yeah, of course her and Steve are like so obsessed with the office that like they're just obsessed with each other. And, 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 and I think that her, you know, just from talking with her and getting to know her, I was just certain that like just her emotional access as a person, she's such a cool person. Um, I felt really confident that that would translate on the screen and, uh, yeah, and it really does in, in, a, in a really, you know, cool way. I don't think anyone thought this is what she was going to be doing. <laughs>